Now they try the right side here. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. And another good game here as the numbers show. We had a rare meeting with the entire offensive line this week. They were pretty ecstatic. Well, they should be ecstatic again. And we had that meeting with them because of how they played last week. I thought it was your idea. It was brilliant to say, let's, let's bring the big guys so in. so kind. Well, it was true. Let's, let's talk to the guys. How did they pull that off? Because they were so productive. No, no room. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And it's scooped up by the Jets. the Jets punter Ryan Quigley to punt this one away and now a high kick here as they'll try to cover this one and a bit of a mistake there this is well into the end zone for a touchback here comes the Jets defense as they ready themselves Last time got that fumble recovery when it looked like they might yield points, so maybe something to build off of. No doubt about it, and mentally, how about just hanging in there when it looked like they are about to give up something and instead took the ball away? That's a sign of a very mentally strong team. Mentally strong? Can they be mentally strong again? One thing that's really difficult for an offense is often identifying how to block a 3-4 defense. Well, when they're coming on a blitz, even more difficult. They're elusive targets and hard to hit. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Another good run there, and now we're seeing an offense that's imposed its will on a defense. When we talk about that all the time, what does it really mean? It means that the guys on the offensive line, they feel like they can do whatever they want. They're in the huddle saying, run it again. Give us another chance to smack someone and create some space. On the defensive side of the ball, not only have they imposed their will against you, you're almost powerless to figure out what you're doing there, but you've got to keep your spirit up at the same time, and they're taking that too. And he will have the first down, but he winds up taking a pretty good shot that time. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. And now here's a carry heading left. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed him down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. And he goes in motion here in the backfield. For it. It's Tannehill. And this is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. We focus our attention now on the Jets' defense. They are down on the scoreboard. They're just trying to keep the opposition now at bay. Let's try
treat it a little bit like tennis. Hold serve. Don't give up anything. Win the point, so to speak. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Ten. Touchdown. A big play there. Setting the NFL mark with his seventh touchdown of the game. And the Dolphins have got it on cruise control. And those are the highlight real runs you dream of right there. When he gets a seam and just gets through it, how about the explosiveness, the burst to get there to begin with, and then once he's in full gallop. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And now we spotlight the Jets' defense. And maybe for them at this stage, it's sort of put up or shut up time. They need to stop trailing here. Oh, I'm with you totally on that one. They've got to go out there now and put an end to what's been going on in this ball game where they've just given up points, got pushed around, so to speak, during this contest. They've got to find a way to end it right here, right now. Can they end it? Let's find out. I guess that's what happens when you give the current NFL rushing leader that much room. And when you do, all you're doing is solidifying his standing at the top of the leaderboard. He's going to continue to get more and more yards good luck trying to chase him down two yards on the carry there it'll be second down well, i think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone but these short ones still have their value you can still set up your play action and throw the football you control the clock because they, you have the ball and they don't and often the physicality sets the tempo for the game now a handoff as they run left side it's a gain of six moves them to a manageable third and two situation frustrating for a defense energizing for an offense finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game got to make the guys carrying the ball very very happy they come up at an offset eye now they'll run it on the toss and he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown a great effort there extending the nfl record with his eighth touchdown of the game and the dolphins just continue to pour it on and Charles, when you catch that toss going right. And now here's a carry heading left. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they kind of just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop the jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. So the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. A good pick up there, a 22. And that's why defense coordinators always preach 11 guys to the ball. Because sometimes you have a missed tackle, but if you have a swarm of guys around, less room for them to roam even after the first missed tackle. In this case, tackle was missed, plenty of open field to get after that. And the back goes into motion. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delay game offense. Still first down. Penalty on first down, backs him up five. It's now first down at 15. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This will be caught at the two. And he's into the end zone for the receiving touchdown. Kenny Stills, his second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins have got it on cruise control. 
I know a lot of people look at these games and think, all right, this thing's done. Let's have some. So on fourth down, here's Ryan Quigley now to kick this one away. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Dolphin football. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That is caught, and he takes this one down all the way near the 30. And that one results in 35 yards. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. They'll come Zero. out in the pistol. Tannehill on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. Ryan Quigley on now to kick this one away. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. And this will be touched by a member of the kicking team right on the midfield stripe. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points... It's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big-time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out-leverage the guys up front, because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. On second down, here's Tannehill. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Kenny Stills, the intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. Third and five, so they bring in an extra defensive back. Yeah, expecting pass. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And he's got some space here. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. So he makes the grab, and the chains move forward. Nice job by the offensive line giving them time to complete that first down pass. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. On first down, it's Tannehill. And over the middle, this is Parker. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll make it second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Tannehill going to throw it. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And he is going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. They come up in an offset eye. 
And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. And to give this time to the tailback. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. And they're going to speed things up here. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. Making a mockery of the NFL record books with his 10th touchdown of the game. And the Dolphins just continue to pour it on. Troubles in the air. Come on. Oh my Lord, the light is going 